Age of Ultron is better than Endgame. Everybody who talked shit about that film or saying otherwise needs to watch this video. Use what brains they have left after watching Endgame and give critical thinking a try. My central argument is this. The characters more accurately reflect their comic book counterparts and it's a better movie for it. Besides Tony Stark, Black Widow and Hawkeye the other three have been changed for the worse. Captain America would never have stayed in the past. He was home in the present. He's always been a man out of time and for him to go back and stay in the past is blasphemy to his characterization. He's a guy who's always moving forward despite being a man out of time. Yes, when he finds a connection to his past he defends it to the point where he refuses to give up on it. This makes sense in that the character who he does that for is Bucky. What they should have done is bring back Sharon Carter, Emily Van de Kamp, and have him go off and have a relationship with her, mirroring what Tony did with Pepper. Before doing that he should have given the shield to Bucky and not Falcon. Even Anthony Mackie thought that was virtue signaling. Bucky's arc should have been he was turned into a slave, did terrible things well so, but gets a second chance to undo those transgressions by accepting the mantle of Captain America, not denying it. Now, let's get to Thor. It was bullshit. Explain to me how turning into a fucking joke for the second time in the franchise helps his character arc post-Infinity War, I'll wait you yeah, thought so. It does his entire arc in Infinity War which was perfect and helped strengthen the arc he has beginning in Ragnarok. And leaving his kingdom to the drunk lesbian SJW Valkyr I just to go traveling with the Guardians of the Galaxy is selfish and completely unearned. And turning him into the dude from the Big Labowski just makes him the second biggest putz in the Maku which leads me into the biggest bitch in the Maku of all time. Bruce Banner slash Pussy Hulk. Mark Ruffalo, shame on you for agreeing to do that. Where was Betty Ross Liv Tyler? Why didn't she return to conclude his journey beginning in 2008's Incredible Hulk? Where was his arc? What was his arc? To paraphrase Drax, why was his arc? So we forget about Betty Ross despite the fact that we get General Ross William Hurt doing a cameo at Tony's funeral. No, fuck no. At the time when Joss Whedon made Black Widow a love interest for him I didn't like it. However, with revisiting it in a great scene from Thor Ragnarok it then made sense and validated the choice Joss made in Age of Ultron. So when she dies why isn't he flipping out? That would have been the best way for him to turn into World Breaker Hulk or angry enough to go back for a rematch with Thanos. And beat his ass. But that was thrown out the window cause we needed to see Captain Mary Sue, Aka Captain Marvel kick Thanos' ass for a while, which scared the fuck out of me until Tony got to have his moment, thank god. If Captain Marvel got the kill on Thanos I would have rioted in the theater. Endgame is a good movie, yes. Is it the greatest comic book film of all time, no. Is it the best Maku film of all time, no. It's nowhere near as good as Infinity War and it ain't as good as Age of Ultron. Despite having better acting performances, more memorable moments and a bigger scope as it's the finale of the 22 movie arc, Age of Ultron is better than Endgame for not botching half of the original Avengers to conclude the story or pander to SJW identity politics. Mark my words. The more time passes the better Age of Ultron will age as a film and be more fondly remembered by fans of the Maku. Especially with what we're getting pushed down our throats in Phase 4. This is the end and it did not end as well as it could have had it not suffered from politically correct bullshit. Avengers Endgame is a 7 out of 10 and that's being gracious.